Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be my April BoxyCharm unboxing. So if you guys wanna find out with me what's in my box this month, then just keep on watching. All right, so I always tell you guys the weight of my box. I think I threw out the little sticker that says the weight of my box. So I'll try to find it in my um, shipping notification and um, leave it as a comment below. And then the number of my box is number 12. It barely says it. And then the, oh, the theme is festival vibes because I know it's supposed to be like Coachella season and everything, um, but we can have a little festival at home, I guess, this month. I wasn't going to any festival anyways. Um, but this is the theme. And then inside, we have, ooh, some things that I actually like. So this I already have, the Benefit Professional. Um, one that I actually really like right now, I have it in my um, everyday makeup drawer, is the Benefit Hydrating Professional Primer. It's very similar, like it's the same kind of texture. I'm gonna save this one for now because I don't wanna open another Professional Primer, but this is like the same texture. It's just like a little bit more hydrating. It's like that moussey formula. Like they honestly look exactly the same. This one just goes on a little bit more moisturizing compared to this one. So that's why I prefer this one. I think this one is actually going around in BoxyCharm this month too, in case you guys are curious. But it's kind of more like a moussey texture and then it um, definitely blurs out your pores. I think that the Professional is definitely more mattifying. Um, so I don't use this one too often, but I've been really into the hydrating one if you guys wanna check that one out because I know it came out, I believe earlier this year. So similar texture, similar look, just this one's a tiny bit more hydrating in case you're curious about that. Um, next up, I honestly, I think I decluttered this palette recently. So I'm gonna end up, I'm honestly like, these are things that I like, but I don't like them enough to hang on to. And it's, it would be silly of me to open and swatch this palette. I'm gonna open it, but I'm not gonna swatch it. Um, when I know that I recently decluttered it and I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. But this is from Zoeva. This is just like a neutral, warm palette. It didn't really excite me too much. And I didn't find the quality to be all that amazing. So I'm gonna end up passing this palette along. I feel like this is definitely more so for somebody who likes more um, natural, everyday makeup. Like I like more neutral palettes, but when I go for neutrals, I still want them to be glittery and super pigmented. I just found that this was more, yeah, like more simple. I don't know if I don't, that sounds kind of negative, but um, I feel like it's more so for just somebody who likes to do like a two shadow quick, more soft, that's the word, soft eye look, and not somebody who likes to do something really um, pigmented, and I love like glittery, super foiled eyeshadows. So this was not the palette for me. Let me actually get into opening some things because I don't want this just to be like a show and tell. I do want to swatch some things. So this is from Iconic London. This is their Illuminator um, in original. I believe I don't have this. I think, yeah, I don't have this. What I have is these drops that I got from Suva, I think like two months ago. I actually do like those, but this is something that I am excited for. I've been more into, like, um, oh, this is a really pretty color. I've been more into liquid highlighters or mixing them into my foundation, mixing them into like um, body lotions. I feel like that looks kind of subtle. Oh, actually you can see that it looks really pretty. The only thing with liquid highlighters on their own I feel like the application could be a little bit harsh, like you have to work really quickly and then still it dries like a little bit like paint. So what I like to do is either like mix it into an oil, mix it into a primer or use it as a body product or mix it into your foundation as well to um, get a foundation to look a little bit glowier. That's honestly the ways that I'm gonna use it instead of using it by itself because by itself it could just look a little bit like harsh, but definitely excited for these. I know this is a little pricier of a brand too. Let me tell you the prices of everything so far. Okay, so this is $41, so this is pricier for sure. The Zoeva palette is $28, and then the Professional is 
32. I'm actually getting like some really good products, even though this isn't like my cup of tea. Um, I think it will be for a lot of people. So I do think it's a good box so far, even though it's not necessarily like my favorite products. And then next up, here are some brushes, some colorful brushes from the brand Lavish. All right, so these are all eye brushes. We have one blending brush, like an, uh, an eyebrow brush. A liner and then two like more precise brushes that I like to use these are called an eye shading brush and a pencil brush um, I like to use brushes like this for like smoking on my lower lash line or like inner corner so I'll definitely end up using most of these the only one I don't see myself using is the pencil brush I never really know what to do with it I don't use like gel eyeliner I feel like that's not as precise as liquid liner. Let me know if you guys end up using pencils like this, but I will definitely use everything else. And the value of the brush set is $29.99. I wasn't sure about the value because I haven't heard of that brand. So lastly, I have something from Illuminati Cosmetics. I've never heard of this brand either. And it says that these are gel paints. I'm hoping that these are gel eyeliners because they're like an electric pink and an electric blue. Yes, I believe these are eyeliners. I actually don't know what that would look like on my waterline. It might look a little bit creepy, but that's like, oh, that's actually a really cool color. I can totally make that work. I even like um, for a regular eyeliner or like a graphic liner or something. I've been seeing that going around a lot and I've honestly needed colorful eyeliners a lot more. I was worried that it would look like too similar to red where it would just look like Halloween makeup on my eyes, but honestly, I feel like that could look super cute. I just need to get some inspo, otherwise it could look like a hot mess. <laughs> but you will see me wear this this month for sure. And I'm excited for the blue. This is gonna be good. Yeah. I feel like every blue, well I have two, blue eyeliners and they're like navy and when I put it on my waterline it ends up looking black and I've definitely been doing more colorful um, eyeshadow lately like I am today um, I've just been playing more with colorful looks because I'm only wearing makeup like one or two days a week so when I put it on I want to go all out so I actually think that these are probably my favorite thing honestly in this box because eyeliner is one of those things like I don't like to spend money on um, because it's just like 25 bucks or something for just an eyeliner. It's just, I'd rather spend it on a lipstick or an eyeshadow or something like that. But I've been wanting colorful eyeliner that actually like shows up really colorful and pigmented for a long time. And I get annoyed every time I do a colorful makeup look and then I just have like brown eyeliner and I really want something that pops. So these look like they're gonna be super pigmented and I could do something pretty cool with these. I just need to get some like inspo picks on Instagram or Pinterest or something. So the value of these two liners is $42. So they are $21 each. Like I said, I don't like to spend that much money on eyeliners. And I feel like the eyeliners that are good are always more expensive. Like I have a bunch of drugstore ones that I really just need to like go over um, and over because they don't get show up really pigmented. But then when I get something like an Urban Decay liner or a Steel liner, those are really pigmented, but it's like so expensive. So I am excited for these because I never would have spent money on a bright hot pink eyeliner, but this like opens up some possibilities for some new makeup looks. So I don't know why, out of it, I got some good products here, but those are the products that I'm the most excited about just because um, I had a need for them in my collection. Like I've tried the Professional, I've tried this eyeshadow palette before so it's nothing new there I have I always like getting eyeshadow brushes but I have eyeshadow brushes at this point um, but I'm, I am happy with those because I do I go through my brushes so quickly I do like the illuminated drops from iconic London but honestly these eyeliners is where it's at in this box for me I'm sure you guys feel like the complete opposite but that's the exciting part. I'm gonna go ahead and total up everything in my box. All right, so the total value of my box this month is $172.99. This is probably the most expensive or high value box that I've gotten in maybe the last year. Everything's always usually around like 150, 160. Um, it is a really good value. I feel like everything makes sense. Sometimes I throw in like a $90 skincare product or like a $120 skincare product from a brand that I've never heard of so that ends up being like the whole like high value aspect of the box but everything here are like high-end brands for sure um overall I feel like it's a decent box um I think 
if somebody else got this box, they would like it a lot better than me because I've tried the Professional a million times and I specifically don't really like this eyeshadow palette formula. Um, but other people might like those things and it would make it like a high value box or a lot better box. Um, I'm okay with it. I actually, I'm just like really happy about the eyeliners. <laughs> I don't even want to take off the swatches. <laughs> But I'm really happy about the eyeliners and then also the iconic London drops and I feel like that makes the box worth it for me I'm definitely going to use the eyeshadow brushes as well But I think that I'm gonna end up passing these two products along just because I've had them in my collection before but that is gonna be everything for this video. I feel like the um, theme was pretty good especially because they have like the colorful eyeliners and the highlighter and everything if they're going for like a festival theme but that's everything in my box for this month let me know what you guys ended up getting in your boxes as well and i do have an affiliate link with boxycharm so if you're interested in signing up for boxycharm my link will be in my description box and yeah that's everything for today's video if you guys liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll talk to you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye